welcome back to online classroom Deku Dio. In this video, we are going to look at the second topic of chapter 4, that is the body defense. For this topic, Jeku Tio is going to divide them into two different videos. And for this video, we will only focus on body defense. If you rem remember from our last video, how we can get infected with diseases, especially the uh, infectious diseases. We're talking about the infectious diseases is because of pathogens. All right. And how does pathogen enter our bodies? The pathogens can enter through respiratory system digestive system, excretory system, and also our skin. And our body is blessed with its own mechanism to defend ourselves, to protect us. And this defense mechanism can be divided into the non-specific and the specific mechanism. And the first line and the second line of defense belong to the non-specific body defense mechanism, whereas the third line of defense is the specific body defense mechanism. We will look at all this first, second, and third line one by one. For the first line of defense, all our body do is to prevent pathogens from entering into our bodies. All right, all they do is all right, stop, no entry, do not go into our body. So the one that plays very important role, of course, is our skin. Let's take a look at this image here. Let's say this purple stuff here and the green chain, <laughs> they are the pathogens and they try to get into your body. And so the first line of soldier, the first line of defense that is going to fight them or to uh, protect us is the skin. And actually, I'm sorry, the skin does not fight. It actually just prevent, all right? prevent the pathogens from entering our body. Our skin is made of a very tough layer and it is very difficult for these pathogens to penetrate. And that's a good thing, right? And also, um, the microorganism can only get into our body if there is a wound or if our skin is injured. That is why if you have a wound, an open wound on your skin, uh, you are always advised that you need to make sure it is clean and it is properly band-aid. Why? Because we need to prevent pathogens from entering into our bodies and they can enter through that wound. And also, our skin will secrete sweat and sebum, and this contain the sweat and the sebum contain chemicals that can actually kill these microorganisms. Isn't that cool? Other than that, there's other openings like our eyes, ears, and nose where the pathogens can still enter. So another uh, element that came that comes to place is mucous membrane all right mucous membrane and the membrane that lines our digestive tract and respiratory tract they can also prevent pathogens from entering our body for example if the microorganism try to enter our respiratory tract through our nose for example it will be filtered out by the hairs in your nose that is called nasal hairs and also they might be trapped by the mucus lining in the nasal cavity in your nose there's always mucus the mucus is the sticky liquid that is in your nose all right and they actually protect us because they trap the microorganism so that they don't get inside our body earwax tears Vagina secretions, they all also function as antiseptic, meaning they can kill all this microorganism. So this first line of soldier, their job is to prevent, to make sure that no pathogens get into our body. What if they still get through this soldier and enter our bodies? All right, now as the second line of defense, okay? So for the second line of defense, they will fight the pathogens through a process called phagocytosis. All right, we will take a look at that. Let's say these are the pathogens, right? Remember this thing? These are the pathogens that get through the first line. They didn't get killed. So they successfully enter our body. All right, now they will be faced with the second line of soldier, the second line of defense. And who are they? They are the white blood cell that will carry out phagocytosis. So this is the white blood cell right here, right? You will see all this white, 
white blood cell and let's enlarge it this is the white blood cell and it will go through a process called phagocytosis where let's say this is the uh, pathogen the white blood cell actually will engulf and digest this pathogens all right meaning, meaning uh, I think I can safely say that the white blood cell actually eats this pathogens so that they cannot attack us that is the second line what if this pathogen still get really strong and get through this second line of soldier don't worry we still have the third line of defense and the third line of defense also fight pathogens but they do so by producing antibodies all right and this is actually our body immune system you have heard a lot of time people tell us that we need to build strong immune system why because they help us not to fall sick all right here's an image or illustration to help you understand that say this is the antibody all right this is the antibody and this one the one that look like star they are the pathogens so what antibody do is they will attach themselves to the pathogens so that they form a clump and this pathogen cannot attack us all right so uh, what is immunity immunity is our body's ability to resist pathogens before our body get infected or before we get sick is our body able to resist these pathogens these enemies and it involves the production of this antibody and this antibody is produced when pathogens enter the body what is antibody actually antibody is protein produced by white blood cell remember the white blood cell they are the ones uh, that play an important role in the second line of defense when they go through the phagocytosis right so this white blood cell when they sense that there's actually antigens in our bloodstream in our body they will be triggered and they will start producing uh, the antibody and what is antigen antigen is the foreign substance It's somebody that our body do not know it's the strangers it's the enemies outside of the body that will trigger our white blood cell to produce antibodies an example of antigens will be pathogens toxin molecules and also blood cells from other blood groups that is why you cannot donate blood to anybody they have to make sure that the receiver of the blood donation uh, does not fight the blood that is being put into their body all right for this purpose well let's take a look at a simple summary of the all three lines of defense that we look at today all right the first line of defense second line and the third line of defense for the first line we prevent our enemy from coming in we prevent the pathogens from entering the body and the uh, important element will be our skin and also mucous membrane for the second line it will be to fight all right and the second line is through the process called phagocytosis by white blood cell and for the third line is when your white blood cells produce antibodies to fight the pathogens all right so the important elements here is antibody and it is actually your body immune system all right so that's all from Jay Kutio in this video. I shall see you in the next video soon. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.